Today on English Bites, it's all about bread. We go back to the market and talk to someone who owns a very popular bread stall there. We're going to learn about all these different types of delicious bread. But first, let's visit the bread shop. We originally started off probably good seven years ago or so as a small French patisserie, mainly just specialising in uh, pure butter style croissants and chocolate filled croissants and things. But as you can see, we've now grown to uh, include all sorts of multicultural kind of foods. You know, we really try to include things, um, traditional German breads and things as well. We also have a lot of traditional Jewish breads as well, starting off with things like your bagels, traditional boiled bagels. And now that people are trying to get a little more health conscious, we're now picking up on a lot more sourdoughs, traditional Jewish sourdoughs, pretzels, Probably one of my other favourite things is it's a German yeast salted stick. Yeah, it's very nice. Um, these are rolls, just, just rolls, things like um, traditional oil panini rolls. We've got things like traditional German ryes with caraway. Um, Turkish bread has become really big. You see this everywhere, things Turkish rolls, that they come in big loaves. Well, this is more of what we specialise in, is in your pure butter French style pastries, yeah. Things like your almond marzipan, chocolate being, of course, the most popular. Then we love to do like a, um, your little mini range with different fruit flavours and things here. Another really big seller, though, is your German yeast buns. Yeah, these ones here, things like this. And your German Streusel buns. Okay, so she used a lot of vocabulary there that you might not have known unless you really like bread. Australians love bread. It's their staple or main food source. Bread as toast for breakfast, bread as sandwiches for lunch, and often a piece of bread with dinner as well. So this sort of shop is very popular. Not too many years ago, most people used to eat just ordinary white sliced bread, like this stuff. But in recent years, the choice of bread has grown. Listen to how the shop has changed. We originally started off probably good seven years ago or so as a small French patisserie, mainly just specialising in uh, pure butter style croissants and chocolate filled croissants and things. But as you can see, we've now grown to uh, include all sorts of multicultural kind of foods. They started off as a small French patisserie. A patisserie is a shop that sells cakes and pastries. She says they sold croissants, a pastry roll shaped like a crescent. They're French as well. So the stall used to sell mainly sweet French cakes. But now they've grown to include all sorts of multicultural foods. Multicultural foods are foods from many different cultures. We really try to include things, um, traditional German breads and things as well. We also have a lot of traditional Jewish breads as well, starting off with things like your bagels, traditional boiled bagels. They include traditional German breads and traditional Jewish breads like bagels. German breads include things like pumpernickel, a heavy bread made out of rye. Most Australian breads are made from wheat. Wheat and rye are both cereals. Different cereals are ground into flour, a fine powder that's used for baking. For bread, wheat or rye flour is usually mixed with yeast, the fungus that makes bread rise when it's baked in the oven. But there are other ways of making bread as well. Bagels are shaped like rings and boiled. Listen to some more. And now that people are trying to get a little more health conscious, we're now picking up on a lot more sourdough, traditional Jewish sourdoughs. Now they sell more sourdough. Dough is the mixture of flour and water. The dough is baked into bread. So to make bread, you need flour and water mixed together into a dough. You might add yeast, salt or oil depending on what sort of bread you're making. Then you'll knead the dough. That's when you press the dough over and over again with your hands to make the bread smooth and soft, ready for cooking. Notice the spelling of knead. It's spelt K-N-E-A-D, not N-E-E-D. You might also know that bread and dough are both old fashioned slang words for money. You knead the dough, but you really knead dough. OK, now let's look at some of the different shapes bread comes in. Pretzels, probably one of my other favourite things. Is it's a German yeast salted stick. Yeah, it's very nice. She likes pretzels. Pretzels are another German bread. 
She calls them a yeast salted stick and they have a very unusual shape. The dough is twisted into that shape before it's cooked. Here are some more. We've got things like traditional German rice with caraway. Um, Turkish bread has become really big. You see this everywhere, things Turkish rolls, and they come in big loaves. She says Turkish bread is really big. She means it's very popular. You can buy it everywhere in Australia these days. She says there are Turkish rolls and big loaves. A roll is an individual small serve of bread. You might eat a roll for lunch or with soup for dinner, but a loaf is a large serve of bread. It's sliced into pieces for sandwiches or toast. Notice the plural of loaf is loaves with a V. OK, so that's some of the different types of bread. But they also make cakes and sweet things. They started off as a cake shop, remember? Well, this is more of what we specialise in, is in your pure butter French-style pastries, yeah. Things like your almond marzipan, chocolate being, of course, the most popular. Then we love to do, like, um, your little mini range of different fruit flavours and things here. They specialise in pure butter pastries with almond, marzipan and chocolate. Marzipan is a sweet paste made from almonds and sugar. It tastes delicious inside some buttery French pastry. And they do a mini range with fruit flavours. A mini range here means a range of mini or small sized cakes. Their cakes are so rich and sweet that the small ones are very popular. And our website is very popular too, and it's much better for your health. You can watch our story again, find out more about bread, and do our English Bites quiz. English Bites is brought to you by Australia Network. And there are many other English language learning resources available at our website. <laughs>